Yo, what's good? It's your boy No Name. Let's get into it. We got the map device mods. Honestly, oh, recorded on Tuesday, so yesterday we got the map device mods. Um, I should have turned around a video yesterday. But I was just bit kind of will myself into getting this quickly. Let's talk map device mods. I'm so this is a good map device. This is a good, good map device right here. So let's talk about it a little. The first thing I actually want to call attention to isn't even the specific modifiers or anything on here. I want to talk about the prices. Essence historically was three. Reach historically, I believe, is either in six or four. I can't remember. Legion is cheaper. Nelly is cheaper. Ritual is cheaper. What is this? Like, that's the first big thing that I want to highlight about this set of map device mods is that they made the mods cheaper this is a great feeling i used to pray for times like this for real essence at two chaos field day right there man i love that um so you know let's talk about uh device modifiers first and foremost essence domination as the cheap two i think like realistically ggg if you ever see this video i want you to know that like as a default you should just put essence and domination always on the map device um especially like if we talk about the way that gearing in the game goes and ways to make mapping feel fun i think essence really ha hits home on that first piece it's just such a core piece of character upgrading and character power that i just feel like two chaos at Every, like i would have been fine with it at three to be real but like a two chaos you're never going to be able to get away with taking essence off the map device ever again like that's just life-changing power right there so essence to see and the domination really just makes the game fun you know it doesn't add anything special it has some cool interactions with um the eldritch ultra system forcing forcing influence packs into the shrines but it's mostly just to make my character faster and stronger. That's also epic, right? Everybody loves being faster and stronger. So what a banger on the first two. I'm already pretty happy just on those alone. Um, Breach and Harvey, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a fuck about either of those. Um, Breach got reworked. Last league, uh, reworked, by the way, here is fancy speak for nerfed like crazy. Um, I've heard like the actual rewards themselves from the Breach bosses got are fine, but the... Uh, the the hands and maps just drop so such a depressingly low amount of splinters if you really want to farm breach stuff i strongly recommend doing other content that yields breach splinters uh namely heist and expedition um like fuck doing actual breach hands for breach split splinters which gdg fix that that's a terrible design harvey on the other hand has not been nerfed in that degree harvey got indirectly nerfed by the change of us going from exalts to divines as our meta crafting currency a couple of weeks ago i mean that has really hurt the overall value of harvey even though you know the null st stay being good and exalts are perfectly fine anyway still uh, as options but also just generally speaking harvey's take a lot of time to kill so you know if, I mean, if you're after if you're after fracturing orbs, though, hey, look, it's right there for you. Six chaos, um, per map, not the worst thing in the world. All right, let's get to the big Kahunas. Legion Delirium Ritual, what a banger three. Um, there's probably a little bit of gripe that it's not harvest in here, uh, but you know, I think that we've had enough League of Harvest to last everybody a couple lifetimes. So let's talk. And besides, Sexton still exists to force all types of things on, anyways. These are just things you can force on outside of the Sexton system. Um, let's start here. Six it's Chaos Legion. Oh my God, that is so cheap. Unless there's like a like a nasty rework coming into Legion, that's just gonna ruin its viability. I suspect that polished Legion scarabs and potentially even gilded are gonna go up. Um, it'll be interesting to see most of it specifically. I like this change of making Legion cheaper on a device to be paired with that keystone they revealed uh, what would be today, actually, when I recorded this, just because that keystone makes Legion easier to do or easier to target hunt things out of. And if you're an SSF, now it's just six chaos to force Legions in. That's pretty cool. Then for trade purposes, six chaos for one monolith. I believe in trade right now, it was 
trade when I was playing five and a half, six chaos for um a polished Legion Scarab. So we're talking 12 CM map for two monoliths with guaranteed generals or guaranteed sergeants and chests in it. Like that sounded phenomenal already. I want to, this is probably going to break some stuff money wise until, unless we, again, we see a changes in the patch notes. Uh, Delirium at 10, similar to Legion, got a key, it's already been announced. Uh, the Delirium one actually pairs especially with the Keystone because I think the Keystone was already good. I think it already had its use cases and now it's just 10 chaos to put that on your map. 10 chaos to force on the ability to get Delhi rewards as well as cluster jewels. Which, I mean, first and foremost, again, as much as I'm a trade player, I have to give my shout outs to like trade or to SSF private leagues and whatnot, just because I did spend the past year roughly like play primarily private leagues and um, being able to force on access to cluster jewels is pretty huge. So, hey, look, I, I support it. Um, and generally, again, it just got cheaper. Delhi strats have always been super popular um, and there's some potential for new Delhi strats again with that new keystone that takes fog and makes it permanent. I suspect, again, Magic Find might make use of it. I'm gonna actually be trying it out myself this league in a strategy that I'll talk about later on as I finish flushing out the details between now and then. We have our initial work on it done, but I wanna see patch notes before I talk about it in full. Um, and then Ritual. Ritual is 10 chaos. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. You can never go wrong with Ritual. Um, if you are a fan of Ritual, if you like the mechanic, if you like taking the nodes, if you like playing around it, fun fact, it goes really well with Dudley, by the way. Um, you really like Ritual, and you play around it, you, you're good with the with the offering system, or with the tribute system, my bad, as well as, you know, getting the right stuff out of the shop, having a good sense of tribute to chaos ratio and whatnot. Ritual has never failed for making money, and if you really dig in, you can even do the, the cute dog shenanigans from a couple from a while back when he was just pulling mirrors out of it. Um, there's always got potential, always worth doing. Overall, the value of fortune favors this league is very interesting because, on one hand, the device is good, right? Like, I'd say five of these nodes I'm pretty happy to see from a, like a mechanic in my map perspective. Fortune favors, however. Fortune favor is still being free chaos when the, the most ex the options have all been brought down in price, right? Essence down in chaos. I believe Ritual is down six chaos. I believe Delhi is down three chaos. I'm pretty sure Legion is down either three or four chaos. Um, like the substantial reduction in chaos cost of the specific makes me think that the cost fa fortune favors might be a bit overpriced in the current state of Atlas. But, you know, I don't really know that. Um, what this makes me wonder is, on the SSS page, they did show us the Kyrick, or they didn't show us the notable, or as, um, Keystone that they're adding, but they alluded to it, and Kyrick's ability to interrupt the map device. And if you notice, there's a scroll wheel on this photo. Like, look at the right side here, chat, y'all. Look at that. That is a scroll wheel on the right side, which means that there's more options below here. And if you know, special crafting options are actually above Fortune Favors the Brave on your crafting bed, on the on the map receptacle craft option. So if you scroll down through, here, you're gonna find a bunch of other map options, like maybe like all sorts of stuff. And so this combined with the vague text that was on the answers page makes me wonder. Is the Kira Keystone really just access to any hist any map device craft available? Um, at like an increased cost or something? Like what what is the sauce that we're about to witness in order for this to be the keystone, right? Um, that's just something really cool to think about. Uh, I will, you know, this is all, that's just speculation, but it was something I thought about when I was seeing the scroll wheel really icking at me, you know? Um, and I, I hope I'm right. I hope that the carry key sun is actually that sick because it might open up even more strategies. Um, as in the time between now and the league, we're going to talk about Atlas strategies and stuff. I recommend some stuff. I like the eye on all that good stuff, but until then, thank y'all for watching. 
Um, you guys should come check me out on Twitch tomorrow when I'm live to Thursday night. We're going to be talking patch notes, theory crafting, all that good stuff so that, you know, we can get it all together at knowledge, right? If you want to contribute to this, if you want to come contribute to the discussion or you just want to come listen and steal some ideas, Hey, look, come through, you know, the deal, uh, link will be in the description live Thursday. Basically like I might go live as patch notes goes live. I'm not sure figuring that out, but Thursday night, if you come find me, I'm probably live or I'm talking about it somewhere. Right. Uh, patch notes day coming up soon. That's the whole idea. Anyways, catch y'all later. Take care.